Look at that. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Cattails, a wild woods story, where it is finally time, very soon here, for the public demo of Cattails to come out after the hard work and dedication of its wonderful developers, who you guys have been uh, aware of for quite some time now. <laughs> Oh, and I'm just so happy because I know it is going to bring so much delight and joy to so many of all of you. There's going to be a lot offered in all of what Cattails now has been updated to do, including the ability to go ahead and have kittens and even have those kittens inherit a fresh world and even share the coat patterns and combinations, many of which are completely unique and original because it's like tons and tons of different combinations of coats with other people. So you could have your little kitten and you could share it with others, which I think is just so cool. And just like trade around the genetics and just kind of keep going. And oh my gosh, I just realized you could do a genetics challenge with this. Oh, that'd be so cool. Just to like have to keep going until you could marry one of the, or I guess like pick one of the cats as your partner and then have kittens with them and then just see what they look like. Oh, that'd be actually quite exciting. <clears throat> but in any case, welcome to the beta for Cattails, Wildwood Story. We've made great progress on the game since the alpha test phase began, and there's still more features and content in the works as we press onwards to the full launch. Thank you so much for your interest in our game. And this is from, of course, Tyler of Falcon Develops, and here we are! So we have had a lot of fun with Cattails in the past, and we have a whole adventure, actually. <laughs> Miss Moss Feather, who you guys may remember, she was really having a great time in the very, very, very early demo of Cattail's Wildwood story. And I am so happy that we had those adventures with her, but we're actually going to be starting something completely new because the demo has been updated dramatically. There's a completely new start. There's a completely new way to build up your, your like society of cats living in the woods. And, uh, we're gonna have to have the fresh save file for that. So Moss Feather, one day we will have you come back, but I'm actually feeling like saying hello to a cat that we have not seen in quite some time right now. So, all right, let's do this. Okay, so some of you guys may actually remember one of the cats that we had back when we were still telling stories in Falcon Develops first work which was actually a warrior cats game so it was a warrior cats untold stories a free game that you could play and this is just so fun to have seen that evolution from untold stories all the way to the sequel to cattails with cattails wildwood story so let's go ahead and we're going to welcome back our girl creek <laughs> <laughs> who some of you guys may remember from the Untold Tell series. And she is one of my favorites because she is a treasure hunter and collector who loves the ocean and swimming. So we're gonna have a really fun time working with her again. And I'm really looking forward to finding all of the treasures sprinkled around the Cattails world, especially deep underground with the newly expanded mines, and basically decorating everything I can because you can collect so many things. So many things. I mean, and some cats obsessively collect socks, right? Well, Creek obsessively collects like everything. And I think she definitely would be the kind of cat who would be born in summer. So let's have her born summer 4th. And then we're gonna customize her appearance. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, this is different. So Creek was a gray tabby or like maybe a silver tabby we could say. But let's see, so there's a whole bunch. Oh, there's blue tabby. Wow, look at all of these. Oh, and a calico. <laughs> she might, she better watch out or I might actually change up her pattern just like I changed, um, just like I changed our cranky chestnut stars pattern too in our warrior cats um, clan generator series. Oh, but you know what? I want to stay out there, blue tortoiseshell, okay. These are all so cute. Oh, and then you can make a whole new one. So as you guys can see, you can alter quite a bit about the cats. Whoa, you can make a purple cat. <laughs> 
And oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is like a cat who's starting to look more like a wobble dog. That's really funny. That's really, really funny. But it doesn't look like that'll be too hard. Just sliding along the color scale. Wow, that is actually a wobble dog cat, isn't it? <laughs> And again, I think that's going to make it a lot of fun when you actually start working on like genetics. Oh my gosh, look, here are the stripes. Oh, this is hilarious. Oh my, oh my gosh. You guys, oh my gosh. Okay, now I have to play with a laboratory because I'm, I'm really feeling it at the moment. This feels otherworldly. And don't worry, this is not the cat we're going to be working with. <laughs> oh my gosh, we can even toss in rosettes. This is chaos. And then details on the tail tip, the point, the muzzle, and the nose. <gasps> you can customize so much. I know people who would just spend all day doing this because this is adorable. You can also customize the inner ears. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so if we discard those changes though, I wonder, it doesn't look like you can build off of the current pattern, which is unfortunate. And I do want to stay fairly loyal to like our actual creek. So we're going to go ahead and make her a silver tabby. But who knows what her kittens might be one day in the future. And we'll keep her eyes blue. Oh, and look at this. I don't think we have... Have we unlocked any accessories? Okay, I think these are actually the accessories that we can currently wear. The bell. Oh my gosh, that would be so much fun. White flower, a face scar. We're going to go ahead and put the bell on her. Also, extra whiskers. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and put the bell on her because Creek's backstory is that she once upon a time belonged to a group of cats called Apple Clan. And she was going to grow up and follow her father's footsteps in helping to protect Apple Clan, except she was washed away in a river when she was just like a, let's see, like a young juvenile, we'll say. She wandered around, lost and stumbling through human territory for quite some time, until finally she managed to find herself into the wild woods. And she does have this little bell, which is a little trinket left over from her adventures. I do wonder if it's going to like alert wildlife, but I feel like she just loves collecting things. So, I mean, maybe fish don't really have ears that can hear the bell at least, because they're underwater. So I think she'd be okay with that. Oh, look at you, Creek. It's been so long since I've been able to go ahead and work with you. But Creek, Summer 4th, Silver Tabby. Um, and I don't think I can customize her tail tip or anything from here, so we'll go for it. Select your game difficulty and other accessibility options. You can change these later at any time. All right, so we'll do normal difficulty, time passage, quick, relaxed, plus 50% day length, I guess we'll do normal now, just so you guys know what that experience is like. Hunt mode. So quick time, succeed with perfect timing, coin toss, a random chance of success, immersive, same as coin toss, but no, oh. So if you can't see your prey radius, then that's immersive hunting, where you have to kind of just figure it out for yourself. Huh. All right, we're gonna do immersive, because I think that would be fun. Random enemies, whether or not- Oh, I heard a kitty meow! <laughs> whether or not random roving packs of enemies will spawn throughout the world- Sure! Come on, bring it on! We're gonna fight them! Oh, this is really nice. So spiders and spider-like animals will appear, but if you're afraid of spiders, I actually have a friend who- he is, like, significantly afraid of spiders, and not in the, like, laughing way, so I really think that this is really nice to do. Light flashes for visual effects. For me, that's okay. Just be aware that there might be in here if you need to, like, watch out for yourself. Uh, if it really seems stroby, I'll try to go ahead and, like, put a warning in the video description. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, and there's a new intro, too! Okay, okay. You guys ready? Let's settle in. Our little collector pirate cat creek is going to begin her new life and collect all the things. Once upon a time, three great cat colonies lived in a plentiful land. For generations, they thrived, hunting the critters of the region and harvesting the fruits of the forest. Sometimes the colonies bickered and fought, but each of their leaders shared a respect for the spiritual mediator of their world, the forest guardian. The word of the guardian was law, and all cats revered them. I mean, it's kind of easy when it's literally like 20 times larger than you to be like, yes, boss. <laughs> 
From the sacred temple, the guardian kept the balance over the cat lands, working for the benefit of all. The cats of the forest thrived. They played in the meadows and ruled over the hills. They built strong walls and gathered prey for winter. But one fateful day, calamity struck. In an instant, the temple was shattered. A terrible earthquake tore the stones from their ancient resting place. A horrible rift was opened in the ground. Every cat shuddered with fear. Boy, this is kind of like chasms from Tears of the Kingdom, huh? Worse than the destruction of the land was the fading of its guardian. Oh, wow, that actually is really related to our original Sims 3 Warrior Cats series, where they had a, a, a guardian of the land watching over each clan. Ah, oh, I feel a lot more attached to this guardian now that I've made that connection. With a weak voice, the forest guardian announced that the land was no longer safe for any cat. A new home must be found, and a new temple must be built, or else the guardian's spirit would not survive. Then the spirit of the guardian flickered and vanished. The frightened cats mourned and did not know what to do. A great meeting was called, and all the cats of the forest attended. Together, they deliberated long over what must be done. The decision was reached that each cat should choose for themselves a leader to follow and set out to find new lands to settle. Maybe some would have the strength to build a better life? You, Creek, a cat of great renown. Re renown? Renown? Fame. <laughs> That's always been a tricky one for me. Offered to lead a group into the unknown and build both a new home and a new temple. Wow! So I wonder if Wind Creek got washed into the river, it was during this great like earthquake cataclysm that shook and broke the world apart. And that made it so that she actually like was separated from her family, but since she always admired her father, who was a leader of a group of cats, uh, I could see her wanting to take after Applestar and wanting to like kind of pull herself up and, and take care of those around her. She's a pretty friendly cat after all, very gregarious. Soon, cats from every colony took up your call, once enemies. Now united by a common cause, you all set out to find a patch of earth to call your own. But the wilderness is fraught with danger, and there are threats on all sides. What, beco what will become of your colony? Will you lead them into a prosperous new era? Will you find the perfect place to build a home? Only time will tell. Oh heck! This is very different, because now we're the leaders? Oh, wow! I wonder how we carried all this stuff here. Don't think about it too much. Another day, another campsite to establish. This looks like a good place as any. Flat ground and good hunting nearby, according to the scouts. Let's all work together to ensure that we have adequate shelter and food before it gets dark. Ah, do we really have to set up camp again? We just did that yesterday. When are we going to finally find a place to settle down and stop moving all the time? I'm too tired to help out. My paws are sore. Will you quit your belly aching and lend a paw already? The job won't ever get done with that attitude. We'll settle down once we find the right spot. Haven't found anywhere that's got the right resources to keep us going. Creek will tell us when we've arrived. Isn't that right, Creek? Of course, Creek will make an announcement once we find our new home. For now, we've got to keep looking. We've all survived a difficult winter. Now that spring is here at last, our luck may finally turn for the better. I suspect it will soon. Spark, we really could use your help. When are you, where are you going to sleep if the shelter is not built? You're not my little kitten anymore. You're an adult. We all need to pitch in if you want to be treated like one. Hey, Creek, I'm going to go out and hunt. In the meantime, do you suppose you could help Spark feel better? I think Spark would cheer right up if they had some valerian to energize them. It's a pink herb that grows around here. Always puts a spring in my step. I saw a huge cluster of valerian just south of here across the brook. All right, I'm headed out to find some dinner. Remember, the Valerian is just to the south. Best of luck to you. Heck! Wow, this is so different! Uh, Krampy's still here, yay! So, oh wow, look, that symbol must be like our little clan symbol. Okay, okay. Ooh, can I look? Wow, that's so cool! We really are in the wilderness. I can't actually see anything on my map because I don't know like where I am. And here's all of the cats of, I guess, our our colony? Spark, I don't want to build a shelter. I'm too tired to help. Don't think you're going to change my mind, Creek. Ember says I can be really stubborn. 
<laughs> so Amber is definitely Creek's parent, Jag. Hey, kid. There's much to do if we're going to have our shelters built and ready by nightfall. I'd rather get back to work than chit-chat. Talking is fine when everything's done, but I have to sleep under the stars. But if I have to sleep under the stars one more night, you're not gonna like me in the morning. Oh my gosh, Crampy. By my beak, it's Creek. Come to check on me, I suspect. Yes, that is prudent. For Crampy is always up to something interesting, and today is no exception. I'm making a remarkable strides in my research into the properties of the peppermint plant. Great discoveries await, and I must not be distracted by anything until its secrets are revealed. <gasps> oh, I love Crampy. Crampy being the one trying to analyze how all of the different plants and other things could affect our health. And Ellie? I'm not slacking off. I'm busy organizing supplies. So many things to sort. <gasps> Ellie! What if I am the collector and you are the sorter? We might be a match, like, made in, in heaven with this. I heard you were going to find some valerian for Spark. I thought for sure we had some of the supply crates, but now I can't find it anywhere. Guess you'll have to pick some fresh valerian instead. Oh my gosh, this is this is adorable. It's very different. And there's not as many cats as I'm used to. Oh! Oh, look, there's a little path over here. Okay, can I run? Okay, that's how I crouch. I think we're doing good. Oh, hey! That is a very satisfying sound. Are there any fish fish over here? Or do we just need to bring the Valerian right away? Well, I guess we should go ahead and help out because I don't want them to have to leave the campsite like unattended. Okay, bring, talk to Spark and gift the Valerian. What's that smell? Smells like Valerian. Did you find some Creek? Would you consider maybe giving me a little? I think it would really help my headache. Okay, okay. So, uh, ha! So now we have the Valerian and so then we want to... Hmm. Okay, okay, yay! Okay, now I'm holding it. Got it, got it, got it. And then let's give this. Oh, you know what? I'm feeling better already. I can do this now that my headache is gone. I'm ready to help build the shelter. Thanks, Creek. Sorry for being such a stick in the mud earlier. Thank you for your assistance, Creek. I'm glad you found that herb. All cats appreciate a thoughtful gift. Giving out items like that is a wonderful way to make friends. <laughs> I just kind of love the idea that subtly running through the undercurrent of all of our colony society is, uh, you know, a little bit of materialism. A little bit, because it kind of shows all the other cats, like, you know, you've got, you've got something shiny. Every cat appreciates something shiny, right? Now we can continue working on the shelter. We'll take it from here. Those pesky, slippery little mice. Everything okay over there, Coco? You're looking a little stressed out, you know. I regret to inform you that I have returned empty-handed. Today does not seem to be my day. Perhaps someone else could try their luck. After all, we need to catch some food or we're going to be very hungry. Creek, you've always been an excellent hunter. Would you care to accompany me? I'd be more than happy to point out where I smelled some prey. Yes, I think this will work splendidly. The mice are just to the east through the forest and a little south. I'll lead the way. All right, let's go get some food for everybody. I mean, I think I'm in charge of this, so it sounds like it's kind of important. Coco, you good? Thanks for agreeing to help, Creek. Between the two of us, we'll, pletch, we'll catch plenty of prey in no time. Now there's just the small matter of this dreadful breeze holding us back. Seems this narrow pathway has created something of a wind tunnel. It's picked up since I've returned. Do you feel it, Creek? The gusts are low to the ground, and I suspect that a well-timed dodge might be enough to avoid them entirely. Oh, okay, wow, um. Oh, that was easier than I thought. The clearing where I saw the mice is to the south. I'll meet you there. Oh, neat, <gasps> nice. Oh, and I'm, now I'm finding thistle. Oh my gosh, and collections, oh dear. Okay, hold up, can I, uh, can I take a little peek at uh, my collections? Let's see, so here's our task log. And then we've also got social and the coat studio. Hey, this is where we could actually, oh wow, so we can change our colors at any time. I could actually have like some really interesting, oh, oh my goodness. <gasps> I forgot about this. Oh my gosh. Well, to be fair, Creek is a short haired sort of cat, but who's kind of slender, but I don't know if they're that slender. There we go, like short hair, there we go. And then tail upward, downward, fluffy up. Okay, we're gonna give her a fluffy tail. I like 
this one. Okay, voice pitch. I had no idea I could do that. That's so cool. <laughs> and I wonder what I, if I could see my collections, but I guess we'll have to wait. All right, come along, come along, Coco. Let's go, let's go catch some ice. I have a new responsibility. I already am taking on the mantle of leadership. So let's take this a little bit seriously, shall we? Pun fully intended. Do you smell it, Creek? There's a mouse hiding somewhere around here. Oh, it's so cute! There, it's a mouse. Now's our chance. First, you need to sneak so it won't see you coming. Get nice and close. The closer you are, the higher your chance of success. But don't get too close. If you do, the mouse will notice you and run away. Once you're near, pounce! If you're successful, you will have caught the mouse. If not, you can always try again on another mouse. Good luck to you, Creek. Okay, all right. Totally. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I know I want to go and do that. But first, raspberries! I found raspberries! Okay, and then pounce on the mouse. <gasps> That was really far away! Oh no, you were so close to catching that mouse, but it looks like it got away. That's alright, we all miss from time to time. You should try again. There, it's a mouse! Okay, alright, so let's go ahead and we'll try again. Okay, so I smelled something. Okay, I don't want the mouse to see me. I'm gonna stay a little bit crouched, wait for it to turn around. Come on, little mouse. Okay, well, I don't think it sees me yet. Oh, <laughs> that's still too- okay, slippery little mice. No wonder Coco was feeling frustrated. And that's really nice to know that we can just stay in crouch mode. Ah, and they didn't notice me. Okay. <laughs> oh, these are very, very slippery mice. It's not my fault. But we are also using that immersive level. As you guys know, so I have no idea like what their prey radius, which if you're having a little bit of trouble, I think, is this going to let us maybe change that? Yeah, if you actually look here, we can see with quick time. I think that'll help us. Aha, so you see this prey radius? Wait just a second and it'll come back. This circle will let us know how... Oh! Oh, that's actually really fun! Heck, I want to do that! Bravo, bravo, you caught it. Great work, Creek. Turns out all I need, needed was a buddy, because I caught one too. Now we don't, won't have to return empty-handed. There's all sorts of prey you can hunt in the wild. Use your nose to track them down whenever you're, you get hungry. There we go. Speaking of hunger, I think I just heard your belly rumble. You must be famished from all the work you've been doing today. When was the last time you had a bite to eat? Good thing you have that mouse. You should probably eat it now so you won't starve. Yay! Okay, yeah, the little hunger bar is the fish, which is so cute. Okay, so we need to go ahead. I need to pick the mouse up, and then we're going to eat it. Neat! <laughs> but I, I feel like we were supposed to get, you know, food for the whole colony, but that's okay. They were slippery little mice. <laughs> that looked like it was tasty. Remember to always pay attention to your hunger. It isn't good for your health to go too long without a meal. All right, we've done our duty. I have a mouse to bring back with us. What do you say we get back to the campsite and see how it's coming along? What the heck? Okay, that's weird. <laughs> this is just such a coincidence that we are also working with our Tears of the Kingdom adventures in another world and another life and another reality um, with our other Let's Play because this looks so much like the gloom. What on earth is that? I don't like the look of that. What if it's dangerous? We should investigate before we head back. Could you check it out, Creek? Okay. Okay. Oh, and now I can run. Yes. That's probably a good thing because I'm probably going to want to run. Be slippery like a mouse. What the heck? Okay, this escalated quickly. Uh-oh, that doesn't look friendly. Looks like you're on the, you're on for this fight. I can't get through this wall. What was that about dodging, Coco? You can do it, Creek. Keep a level head and I'm sure you can win. I'll give you some pointers. You can use your claws to swipe and deal damage. It'll probably take a couple hits to take it down, judging from the look of it. Be careful to stay out of the way of its attacks. Be quick and agile to avoid taking damage. I'll be rooting for you from here, Creek. You've got this. Okay, okay. So, the Voidling Cat. That's a good name for it. Where are you going? Me. Okay. And now I can see where my health is, right above my fish bar. Ooh, Voiling Cat! Added to our collections! That's wonderful! Creek's first mission is definitely going to be filling out her collections. 
Nicely done, Creek. You made quick work out of that thing, whatever it was. Oh no, it looks like you've got company again. Watch out! Oh, now there's two of them. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be too sassy. Two of them this time. What are you going to do? Oh, I've got it. You might find it easier to defeat them with the charged attack. You can wind up your attacks to unleash more powerful variant and launch yourself into battle. Try it out! Okay, so... Okay, I'm gonna have to go ahead ah, and not get taken out by these guys. Maybe it'll be easier to take one of them out first. Oh, that's better! So I think I can do a bit more damage when... Yeah, definitely can do a bit more damage. There's one. There. That's better. Hey, maybe I am fit to be the leader. You showed them. Well done, Creek. And the path to the campsite is open again. I think when you've defeated those Voidling cats, their shadowy wall went away too. What do you think those things were? Why did they attack us? We need to report this to the others. They should know there's danger around. Let's head back to the campsite and let everyone know what happened here. You know, wondering if we should camp here, wondering if we should stay here, all considering, seems like we have a few issues, but, oh, look at the little campsite though. <laughs> Attacked by angry shadowy cats? That doesn't sound good. What if they're still out there, lurking in the forest just beyond the camp? What if we aren't safe? Jag is right! That sounds dangerous! Oh, what are we gonna do? Strange voidling cats, you say? How intriguing! What a wonderful opportunity. I would love to spot one for myself so I could research its behaviors and properties. The good news is that Creek was able to defeat them. That means we stand a chance, right? Whatever they are, they aren't invisible. I sure would like to learn more about them before the next time we encounter one. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Greetings, Creek. Greetings, all mortal cats. I cannot long manifest my presence here, but I have chosen this moment to appear before you all with fateful news. Okay, that's is a big deal, I think. It's the Forest Guardian. We are honored to be in your presence, Great Guardian Spirit. I have missed you dearly these past few months. We all have. <laughs> It's good to see you again, Coco, my old friend. Soon my power will wane once more. Without a temple constructed, I have no place to tether myself to the physical realm. But I have come with cheerful tidings. Tomorrow, you will all settle in your new permanent home. I have foreseen it. We are not far now. Then a new temple shall be constructed, and I shall abide with all of you once more. A permanent settlement! Oh, this is wonderful. I think I speak for us all when I say we're ready to be home at last. But what of the Voidling Cats? Is it safe to build our town so close to such a threat? <laughs> Do not fear the Voidling Cats. Dangerous though they must be, I will teach you how to overcome their power. Wait, so does this mean I'm like a priestess of a mythical cougar? <laughs> their very presence is the reason why I believe we must settle here. In time, you will understand. <laughs> In ages long past, this region was known as the Wildwood. It has been uninhabited since time immemorial. When I felt the presence of the Voidling Cats, I had a sudden premonition that there is some good that we will be able to accomplish here. It is no mistake that you have journeyed to this land. Creek, I will teach you to speak with my voice so that you will have the power over the Voidling Cats. The skill I am about to teach you is known as Lion's Roar. Use it when danger is near and your enemies will scatter. So a lioness then. Skills are powerful abilities that aid you as you play. You can learn and improve many different skills over time. You can view your equipped skills uh, in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. Find lions run activated. All right. Well, hey, there they are. Uh, all right. <laughs> you have done well, Creek. With time and experience, you will be able to improve your lion's roar and use it to even greater effect. I have every confidence that you will be able to overcome these challenges that lie ahead. That sounded terrific. Terrific, Creek. If I were a boiling cat, I'd be quaking in my boots. Is it true that we're going to finally have a home for ourselves? I can't wait to see it. I have to admit, as much as I like seeing the world, it would be nice to build a shop and slip back into daily routine after all this time. I've gathered quite a large inventory while we've been journeying. It's getting harder and harder to bring it with me when we move. I'm ready to stay in one place. Yes, and it would be nice for me to have a sterile environment to treat my patients. I could have a clinic again at long last. Do you have any idea how hard it is to treat a wounded cat while on the road? Ah, you mean all that work I did building the shelter was for nothing? We won't even need it after tomorrow. That's okay, though. I wouldn't mind having a real home again. 
then it sounds like we're agreed. Next time, next we should have Creek decide exactly which part of the Wildwood we should settle in. I have the latest scout reports right here. These are the spots that would make for a suitable home. Which one will it be? Oh boy, here we go. So we could pick the forest, sparse pine and oak woodland, a welcoming and hospitable place to build a home. The meadow, a gentle river winds through this flowery field. The swamp, a mysterious swamp overrun with wild willows and weeds. The beach, an inland lagoon surrounded by sandy beaches and tropical vegetation. And the volcano! Dark basalt, uh, dark uh, basalt rock and flowing lava that make for a dangerous and uninviting location. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Okay. All right. All right. Meadow is nice. Swamp seems really, really cool. Beach seems kind of amazing, especially because Creek loves collecting things and is kind of like pirate cat esque. I haven't had anybody in the swamp in forever though. Like any kind of swamp. I'm thinking. I'm thinking really hard. And creek is creek, not like ocean or tide or anything like that. Hmm. Hmm. Oh man. Okay, this this seems like a really, really important decision. But you know what? Let's be piratey collector cats burying our treasure on the beach. That looks like an ideal spot to settle. Great choice, Creek. Now that we have a home, we're starting to feel like a real colony again. What are we going to call ourselves? Oh. That's so fun. Oh, and then you can be Hidden Colony. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and we're going to be, um, oh, like the Treasure Colony. What should we call ourselves? Salt Colony after like our Salt Clan in our, our Warrior Cats um, Clan Generator Adventures. Oh boy. Okay, look, this is a very serious decision, so I'm going to give it a little bit of thought, but we have started in on what is obviously an entirely new feeling game with the newly updated demo of Cat Tales, which will be released for public demo in just a few more days. So keep an eye on it over in the Steam gallery, and then when you guys are ready to join us for more adventures, you know where to come, and hopefully by then I'll have picked a name for this colony. I'm gonna do my best. Why is this always the hardest part? <laughs> All right, guys, stay curious and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.